Hello? Oh, hi. You, you can't see me? Hmm, why not? Oh, it, it's too dark. Well, hmm. How do you think we can fix that? Um, hmm. Oh, you think we need some light? How about that? Can you see me now? More light? Okay. How about now? Light helps illuminate things, which allows us to see. Where do you think this light comes from? Hmm. Did you guess the sun? Or light bulbs? Or flashlights? Those are three places that light can come from. But how does the light travel? How does it get from the source? That's what we want to figure out today. Now, light can travel in waves. Can you show me a wave with your hand? Yeah, light travels like this from its source. And normally these waves head in one direction, but sometimes things get in their way and they have to change. Today, we're going to examine what happens when things get in their way. Let's go do an experiment. For this experiment, you're gonna need a dark room, a white wall, a flashlight to give us light, and some things to test in front of the flashlight. We're gonna see what happens to light when we put cardboard in front of it when we put wax paper in front of it, when we put a mirror in front of it, when we put a prism in front of it, and when we put clear plastic in front of it. I'm gonna turn off the lights now. Okay, can you still see me? Great. So, for our first experiment, we're gonna shine the flashlight through cardboard. Now, what do you think will happen when we shine the light through the cardboard? Where will the light go? Let's see. So, I've got my cardboard and my wall. You can see the light on the wall, but when I put the cardboard in front, what happens? the cardboard blocks the light. And what we have behind the cardboard is called a shadow. This cardboard is opaque. Can you say opaque? When things are opaque, no light can get through. An example of something that's opaque is a door. All right, now I've got wax paper. Let's see. What do you think will happen when the light goes through the wax paper? Make your prediction. We've got our light on our wall. And when, the, when we put the wax paper in front, what happens? Some of the light is on the wax paper, but some of it is still on the wall. A little bit of the light gets to go through. We call that translucent when only some light goes through. Can you think of something that's translucent? When something is translucent, some light waves go through, but some cannot. An example of something translucent is a milk jug. Next, we're gonna do a plastic bag. Make a prediction about what will happen to the light when it gets shown through the plastic bag. So we've got our light and we put the bag in front of it. What do you notice about the back wall? Yeah, all the light went through the bag. We call that transparent, when you can see all the way through it. When something is transparent like a window, all the light waves can get through. The next item we're going to try is the mirror. What do you think will happen when we shine a light on the mirror? Make your prediction. All right, here's our light. And here comes the mirror. What do you notice? 
Is there any light on the wall? No, the light is coming back at us. We call that reflection, when it bounces back. When light waves hit a mirror, it bounces back towards our eyes. This next item is my favorite. It's called a prism, and it's like a triangle made out of plastic or glass. What do you think will happen if we shine light through the prism? Let's make a prediction. Here's our light. What do you notice about our light on the wall? Yeah, it's just, it's just, it makes a circle because it's coming from the circle flashlight. Now, when I put the prism in front of it, <gasps> what happened? Yeah, the light kind of splits. We call this refraction. When the light waves go through something like a prism, the light waves get bent. It's game time. We're going to look at pictures of light in nature and guess what the light is doing. I'm looking for something opaque or something that's blocking the light. What do you think is blocking the light? Trees or raindrops? If you guess that trees are opaque, you're right. A good hint is the shadow. What do you think is reflective or the light bounces back? Snow or rain? If you guess that snow reflects the light, you're right. That's why our ski goggles often have sunglasses lens. What is transparent or lets all the light in? Rivers and water or ice? Water is transparent. The light waves can get all the way through, which is why we can see the bottom. Which one is translucent or lets only some light waves through? Ice is translucent. You can see some light, but you can't see everything through ice. That leaves raindrops. What are raindrops? Well, raindrops act as prisms. They are refractive. This is why we can see rainbows. When the light goes through the raindrop, it splits and bends and we see color. More on this in the color video. Thanks for playing the game. Be sure to head on outside and see what light is doing in your backyard. Have fun.